brave travelers. I welcome you. journey under Alpes. And now, the rivers of time converge. I know why you have come, yet I would hear you speak your reasons all the same. You created the moon to deliver mankind from the final days. But is that really how it has to end? We do not wish to abandon this world. We want to protect the source and all of its shards. To flee is but one of two paths. The other leadeth to Meteon, far beyond the stars, where she doth chant creation's requiem. Her domain is formed of dynamis, pure, absolute, where emotion and memory govern all, ether will avail you naught. Meteon hath gathered the pain and despair of countless stars, and to go unprepared is to go unto your doom. We'll beat her. We'll win. I swear it. Is what I might have said, once. After everything I've seen, all the times I've succumbed to my own anger and fear. I can no longer pretend that courage and faith will be enough. But are we truly so powerless? That our only choice is to flee? Far from it, my child. Long ago. The inhabitants of myriad stars, many more prosperous than Atheris, sought to free their worlds from life's woes. Sorrow and anger, conflict and hostility, despair, and even death itself. But as Meteon reported, every attempt ended in failure. Darkness abideth within every living being, and can never be cast out. Neither reason nor faith can challenge this immutable truth. To live is to suffer. And in suffering, find strength and purpose. As you have done so many times before, Thou dost pursue an impossible dream, yet knowing this, you pursue it nevertheless. And thou hast learned to depend on others as they do thee. Thy yearning for the power to save the powerless hath ever driven thee to greater heights. Thou hast grown strong. Though those closest to thee no longer walketh by thy side, their love remaineth thy guiding light. For duty's sake, thou hast been bound by truths unutterable time and time again. Yet thy heart hath never wavered, as thy companions will attest. In thy pursuit of mysteries great, all thou believest is brought into question. Undaunted, thy thirst for knowledge remaineth unquenched. The fires of hatred that once burned in thy heart burneth no more. From their ashes doth spring the light of love, warm and pure. As witness to black calamity, 
Thou despaired at man's helplessness. Resolved? Thou didst unite a distant world on the brink of collapse. And thou, my champion, when all did seem lost, thou never abandoned hope. For every trial and every foe that did bar thy way, thou hast proven equal to the challenge, drawing courage from the many bonds forged on thy journey. You have all known despair, and though the end approacheth, you walk on, heads held high. Therein lieth your power, the strength to silence the song of oblivion. Then there is a means to confront her. Yes, if you should prove yourselves worthy. Hark! Nigh impossible is it to send mortals to the edge of the universe. Should you fail, there will be no second chance. As the will of the star, I ask of you this. Do you possess the fortitude to stand firm when all around you does crumble? Do you possess the faith to vanquish despair itself. Should you lack the strength to best a supreme deity, I cannot allow you to make the journey. You must leave this star and never return. Prepare yourself. ourselves worthy, then. Sounds straightforward enough. Aye. No room for confusion there. In any case, we've come too far to back down now. I am of the same mind. What power I have, I shall bring to bear. The three of you seem to be forgetting who we're up against. It's not every day we battle a divine being of untold power. Well, not quite every day. Do try not to get underfoot. Needless to say, there'll be no margin for error. Let us hold nothing back for the people of this world and those beyond the rift. Alas, the question I posed to thee in Elpis hath remained unanswered these long years. I would hear thy response, warrior of light. Shouldst thou emerge victorious? 